Hello everyone, Playtime Returns with another Super 7 Thundercats Ultimates toy review and today we got Wave 8 which is Hachiman, Aluro, Captain Shiner and Wily Kid. Yeah, so I finally got them today. Um, I did pre-order these through Super 7 because I thought this was a solid wave. So yeah, so here we go. I'm going to get the show on the road because I'm going to do them all right here, right now. So there she is. Says Wily Cat again. No brown box covers or um, sleeves to save on cost, and that's what we're told by Brian Flynn, which I'm fine with because they all come out of the box for me. <laughs> so I know some of you are like, Nah, man, I'm collecting all these. I want them in the box, but yeah. So it says Wily Kid. Wily Kid is one of the mischievous Thunder Kittens who escaped the destruction of Thundera with the other Thundercats, together with her twin brother. Wily Cat, she loves racing across the earth on her hoverboard and beguiling the evil mutants with her homemade explosive capsules and smoke grenades. Often more brash than her cautious older brother, Wily Kit is nevertheless a loyal and brave member of the Thundercats. There it is, looks cool. Um, this one, I'm probably, I'll be honest, the least excited for because I have the Mighty Collector one and that one's been like my go-to. And I think she looks good. But let's check this one out and see if it's worth buying or if it's worth just sticking with the with the Maddie Collector one. So let's check it out. I don't know if those are going for more now or what. You guys can let me know below. Sound up in the comments below. So there we go. We have her rope, her action rope. Two head sculpts, one with the winking eye, her regular head sculpt, her hoverboard, and she has a little hand with the pellet, a little gripping hand, a gripping hand, and slightly open hand. So let's see what this looks like. So there's her smoke speed stand. The hoverboard I know is different for sure because the other one was thinner, the Manic Collector one. But let's see how this goes. Looks pretty clean. You know, for me, it's all about that Thundercast logo. If this is not clean, what good is everything else, right? At least that's the way I feel. But some of y'all may feel differently about that. And is it going in? This is pretty tight. Um... So be careful, you don't want to bust that peg. And it does rotate right here. So that's cool. But yeah, it looks, looks pretty clean. Let's get her out. Little hands out. Ooh. Come on. I'll be here all night. <laughs> oh man, they always tie them down. I like these though. I don't know why they don't do that with her. I mean, they want to preserve her. I should do it, do it, do it. Again, I always start with the ladies. Because I'm a gentleman, yo. I'm a gentleman. Gotta be a gentleman in this day and age. Chivalry is dead. <laughs> At least sometimes it feels that way. There she is, Shake. Chill. <laughs> Little winky night. Who's she checking out? Who's she checking out? She's too young. <laughs> Man, and this right here, oh, gotta take my big old scissors. Always be careful because you don't want to scratch up the paint, jack up your figure. Thankfully, that was, thank God, that was easy. Let's check her out. Now, I, I'm still, I still plan on buying Willa. I haven't bought her. I did get. Rotaro and Snarf, but I didn't pick up that um, Glow in the Dark Chitara, Mongor, or Willa. So, yeah. So, let's see. This one looks pretty good. She feels good. She looks tinier than I thought she would be. I thought she was going to be a little wider for some reason. The promo picks, you know, they, they blew it up, and so you thought, you know, she was going to be bigger. Excuse my hand, it's all jacked up. I have a dog that chews on it and thinks it's a bone, even though he has his own. 
<laughs> and I don't know what you're thinking. That's cool and all playtime, but show it off. So let's compare. Bam. <laughs> so I think what people had to complain on this one was this paint. She looked like a clown. Uh, you see that? Look at this one. This one looks so much cleaner. Um, I like the white eyes on this one. I feel like I saw her more like this. For this one, she looks more sneaky. But I think, you know, you're all going to have your preference. Um, they're roughly... Okay, so Super 7 is a slightly shorter from what I see. Because I'm looking from the top, a little above the top. This might look the same height to you. But it's not. The logos. This logo is brighter. And... So, I mean, they both look good. My logos, the logos both look good. But I don't know. You guys can sound off in the comments below because I don't know which one you would like more of. I mean, there's that one. There's that one. Whoa. They are really tiny. She feels good. She feels lighter. Her head is pretty heavy. But they you guys could like i said you know take that as you will I fix her legs um yeah they're the same height uh slightly different sculpt so she has a longer torso like i said she's probably about two centimeters taller if i could get her to stand these these feet are really tiny. Unlike this one, she has longer legs. I mean, longer longer legs, longer feet. She looks petite. She doesn't look as petite. <laughs> but let's check her out in her hoverboard and see if, if that's good. If it is, then we good. So, yeah, so she actually holds on pretty good. Oh, she did. It feels like it's sticking. So you have her cruising. Cruising on a Sunday afternoon. You know, I had a problem, the same thing with the Medic Collector one, where... The peg was too thick and the and her peg was too small but there she is in case you want me to check it out but she stands she holds pretty good you can check it out um, I don't care for this head it's okay she'll you know it depends I depends how I feel what mood I'm in <laughs> but yeah so this doesn't feel that great. It feels really cheap. Um, almost like cheaper than a zip tie, actually. But just be careful with this. I feel like this could snag. Um, but again, you know, your description may vary from my description. In case you want to see what that little pellet looked like. You can't focus. There it is. And then the pegs are really thin as well. Just be careful. So I'm gonna get to the next one. Let me just show you the hoverboard real quick. The difference. I like the smoke effect because this looks more like a spaceship taking off. And then there's the, the difference in width. So there you go. Let's go on to the next one because I know you guys came here for the other ones. <laughs> You know what? Let me get you the Super 7 Lionel so you can see what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Come on, Chief. Time's a ticking. So you can go down. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. Turn out. All right. So this. Let's get them out of here. Let's do let's do the good guys first. Hachiman. 
Let me see. Hachiman is a noble samurai from the planet of the Red Sun, a skilled swordman, swordsman who wields the Thunder Cutter. He adheres to the code of honor known as Mushido and abstains from luxury, though he can sometimes be short-tempered and overconfident. Hachiman was summoned to Third Earth by Mumra and tricked into believing the Thundercats were evil. After learning of this deception, Hachiman became a staunch ally to Lionel and the Thundercats. There you go. There's the artwork. Artwork is always nice. So what we got inside. You know, sadly, I haven't been keeping these boxes. Um, the only one I've kept recently is Snarf and Rotaro because... I think actually that's not true. I think I have like the glow in the dark mamba still and spirit of Jaga or ghost Jaga, whatever you guys want to call him. So ooh, it looks cool. We got the thunder cutter in electrified mode, the finger to hold it. I thought this was supposed to be connected. I don't know why it's not. Sword sheet, the thunder cutter, the helmeted head. I wish this was too. If this, this was able to go on like this, it would have been sick with the alternate head, but alas, we didn't get that. There's some type of cat on there. I don't know if that's a chess piece. I believe it's a chess piece. We got two fists, two gripping hands to hold the sword, and two open palm hands. So enough talking. Let's get this out. Let's get you out. Get you out. Ah, this stuff's so hard to get out sometimes. We did out. You like the snap crackle and pop of this? That's why I do it. Because you guys can see. <laughs> you guys get the enjoyment. Somebody open up your toy, or you open up your toy. Maybe you don't record this. You like to have it on here. Or see somebody's opening it it's like oh yeah i remember opening mine I felt that too. be careful with this head i wish they didn't do that grinding teeth for this one it would have been sick for him to be serious when he was wielding the sword uh this is my personal preference let's get him out this one is actually a twist tie it wasn't like the wily kit one where she had the plastic tie la da dee la da da shut up and open it <laughs> oh yes 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 my friends yes who you guys want to see who you guys looking forward to again sign off in the comments below are you looking forward to a lure our first lunar talk i think it's our first lunar tech um not sure for show but you can let me know below for some reason, he has this around him. That little plastic. Why did they do this? I don't know why it's on there for. Um, hopefully, is it for the chest piece? I hope it doesn't come off that easy. Ooh, he looks cool. Now, again, I don't have the vintage um, figures of these Thundercats. Again, I was waiting for something like this to come along, and I'm glad I did because it makes it so much better. Now, the skin tone looks good. It's actually painted on, um, although for whatever reason, his hands are not painted. They're just the molded plastic. But the neck is painted. Everything's painted right here, so it looks cool. Unless you're going to be examining the hands, I mean, you know, it's on you. It looks cool. Hachiman. Yeah, this is pretty neat. Now, I don't know how this is supposed to go. Is it supposed to go like this? In case you guys wanted to see. Can you do the T pose? Ooh. Is that. So you can do that. That looks cool. Does he have a. He has a waist swivel? No. No app crunch. This one, oh yeah, okay. So he has the knee band, but no shin swivel, which you don't need because this actually moves around right here. 
here. Uh, how far does it go up? It doesn't go too far up. That's the most you're gonna get because of this. At least say, yeah, it's not double jointed or anything. Probably could have did that though. Uh, this is a, this is really oh this is actually pliable. I thought it was more stiff the sword, but that goes all the way in. Does it rotate? It doesn't rotate. Did you always have it like that? I don't know. Yeah, you guys can let me know below. Let's check out the other head sculpt. Ugh. You know, I felt like this wanted to pop off. I'm glad it didn't. It happened to my my Duke figure, the Super Seven Duke figure from GI Joe. Okay, I think I got it. All right, no pop, but looks cool. Yeah, I don't care for this head. As I said probably a hundred times already. <laughs> but let's get light bro out here. I feel he should be wider. I don't I I thought he was wider. I thought he was more bigger. I don't know. I think some of you might be disappointed in that. But were they the same height? I don't remember for the life of me. I felt he should be, yeah, I felt he should be thicker. What do you guys think? Yeah, guys, gotta let me know what's up. Talk to me, people. Don't be shy. You know that commercial? Don't be shy. Get a little closer. Was it a Colgate commercial or something? Ugh. I'm from the 80s, so if you know, you know, Ugh. but he's gonna stay like that. Yeah, all right, let's get. I'm gonna do a little because I feel like I'm gonna have trouble with those arms on Captain Shiner. Oh, you know, what? I didn't see this chest piece right here. I'm afraid to take this off because I feel like when you do things like this, it'll be loose. Actually, that was pretty good. There you go. I don't remember what this is from, so you guys can let me know below. So that goes like that. Again, you got a pointy finger. Open palm. In. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Like I said, this is molded plastic, unlike his painted head and his neck. But as long as they painted that, I'm cool with it. So let me get this out of the way. You see... Oh, no. oh, you know, I forgot to show you guys. Get a little head of my seat. Okay, can you guys read it? Luro. Luro is a member of the Lunatags from the moon of Plundar. Along with his comrades, he was freed from his lava prison by the mutants. Luro is formidable in appearance, but must but avoids combat, preferring to rely on his mesmeric skills. Using the Sight Club, Luro can focus and, and amplify his abilities. He's a master of mind control and manipulation with the ability to hypnotize and bend others to his will. Manipulation, excuse me. Let's get him out. Because you manipulated me. Like, what are we talking about? You did this to me. No, I didn't do that to you. No, yeah, you did. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Yeah, I'll show you guys the, the backs. The backs with the bags be back. Ah, what do you guys think? I know what you guys are thinking. You know what you guys are thinking? You're thinking, dang, he's not that purple in the cartoon. He's should have been like probably a tad lighter. I think he's just a little too, yeah, a little too purple or lavender, whatever the color you want to call it. A little too lavender for me. Should have been lighter. Um, but let's get him out. So what was that? Club called Sight Club. So there's a Sight Club. Comes with two of the little balls that you put on it. Alternate head, open head, regular head, the Alguru thingy, a map of some sort. His chest. Let's get it out. Let's see what we got. Cause I'm just talking. I'm too excited, guys. 
yeah like i said i ordered these through super seven amazingly these actually came before everybody else got their stuff um so that's cool A little map right here i don't know if that's third earth oh this is be careful with this oh, there he goes on the floor Is his chest, does it open? Oh, dude. Oh, it does open, guys. It opens. What? Good job, Super 7. So you can put that little thing that just fell on the flow. The Algoro Talisman. But there's his chest. There's his map. This map is cardboard, so... Don't want to get that mixed in your... The pointy finger. Mixed in your trash. What is this, Trash? Be vacuuming. <laughs> I know I do that. What's this? Be like vacuum up some stuff on the floor for my kids' toys. So we got two gripping hands. One just fell. So all the weapons. Same thing. These are molded plastic. Oops. Did I just move the camera? Am I tripping? Hey, man. You're right. Ah, there goes everything. Dude. Today is not my day. No, I should today is my day, but yeah. No. Alright, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm boxing, yo. <laughs> but yeah, so again, we're not getting none of the 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 brown Miller boxes or Or the sleeve covers, because they actually came like this, open and just in a little plastic bag, all side by side. Like you said, I'm cool with. There's a holder. Now I don't remember. Do different colors do different things? I haven't watched it recently. Yes, Gerald. Yeah, I forgot the way he talks. All, all creepy. Huh? <laughs> Oh man, I don't know. I think this guy was based on some kind of creep in the back in the days because I always thought he was creepy. And I have all this stuff everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I always thought he looked like a pervert. <laughs> yes, Gerald, the pervert dude. This guy's tall. Well, he looks tall. Maybe he should be taller. Yeah, looks boss. And then these connect like this. There's two. It looks like a bowling ball almost. And these should connect like this. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared man. Okay, so you guys might want to warm this up. I can't connect it. Let's see if the blue one connects. Um, I feel like this, just see that it's not falling in. Ah, I feel like I'm gonna break it, yeah. and I don't think I'm gonna do this right here. Should I uh, at least one of them? So, there you go. So, you might want to warm the. the the peg up so it stretches a little bit but that was a tight fit and i don't know which one's like is it supposed to be the powered up one or what then did i show you the little thing it's called a girl talisman but yeah it's cool because now this opens which is cool because if you don't want to lose that you can put that inside does it fit yeah you can put it inside and that's neat so yeah, I know what you're thinking. That's cool and I'll play time. Do you have anything to compare them to? Yes, I do. So let's compare. Bam! So here's my Rotaro. But I feel Rotaro should be huge. I don't know why. So that's the way he looks with him. And here's Lionel. So I don't know if that height 
is accurate. I feel like he should be slightly taller on this guy. Super 7, are you shrinking them down? What do you think, guys? So that's the height difference. Right there. Uh, I gotta admit, though, he looks good. It's finally, like I said, finally a lunatic. Um, let me show you the difference, though, because I don't feel Groom should be this tall. Uh, I feel like he should be as tall as Groom. So there you go. I mean, well, I guess, you know, he has a helmet on, but. Mm, yeah. But I'm excited. I mean, like I said, we were getting Luna attacks, man. And then we have Chilla coming up. Man, I couldn't think of her name for the life of me. I was trying to do a first impressions video. <laughs> her name was just not coming up. But he looks cool. And yeah, let's throw on some different hands. See if he can hold his, his little club. Mm -hmm. Where's all your hands at, dude? Again, his hands are stiff. And this is paint. So, you could hold it. Maybe I should use an open hand. I'm going to scratch up this paint right now. Let's see. Yes, use the right one. Maybe this is better. Cool. Yeah, this looks cooler. And I guess one more gripe would be this. This looks sort of weird. Um, I think it would have been cooler if it was just like the paint was just right there and then all this purple, but I believe it's a Mandela effect. Yep, there I go with Mandela effect again. Because you know, you remember stuff. And this guy, he doesn't have a, an app crunch. It's a solid mold. So just a heads up. Uh, I like this face on him. Um, I know they're giving us options, but yeah. Preferably would have liked. I like this one. But they're pretty good. Nonetheless. So. Let's get the Captain Shiner. Because I feel like he's going to give me a hassle. But dude. Are you guys excited to get the rest of the Lunatics? I think I am now. Chilla's next. Chilla and Wily Cat. And we just get one more step closer to completing. The Thundercats already man. Jeez. Was like wave 9 to complete them all? Wave 10 actually, huh? So here's Captain Shiner. He doesn't have a Shiner. I thought he would have like a black eye or something. <laughs> there is a box. It says Captain Shiner. Let's see. Okay, there you go. As master of the space liner Vertus, Captain Shiner is a mercenary who once lured Lionel into a trap in the Sea of Stars for Mumra. Later, Captain Shiner proved himself more honorable than Mumra's other allies by helping the Thundercats escape from a black hole and the nefarious artificial intelligence Neptune. Still, despite his principles, Captain Shiner and his Sea Raider crew remain soldiers of fortune. He's greedy for gain, yo. Greedy for gain. I feel also a little bit of it. I'm too excited. You know, when you're like excited about stuff, this happens. You just like, get all tongue twisted. And I got to get the show on the road. Okay, so this is what's gonna trip me out. Where's Wiley Kid? Wiley Kit, excuse me. I know what you're thinking too. Man, you didn't show off. You didn't show off Wiley Cat with that one. I forgot. So here's this one. Which is cool. I feel like he should be taller, but that's how they look together. So let's see what we got. 
So there's his, his right arm. Open palm, hand, fist. Another like claw hand, right arm. The sword of omens with the cover. Is that like the groom? No, not the groom. Which one was it? Uh, Pomeroz, right? Whoa, everything just fell out. Here's this phaser gun. Pew, pew. Oh, wow. He has like, these are shackles. These aren't even have cuffs. I think they goes on the legs. They're really thick. And really chain. That looks like metal almost, but it's plastic. Just the chain is metal. Yeah, it's two fists. Another fist. Pointy finger hand. And then his right arm. So let's see how this is going to go. Let's get this open. This one's pretty cool. Ah, Mamora, I told you to never call me on this phone. <laughs> he looks good, though. I like this head. You know, I was thinking about the vintage. Like, what was up with all that skin disorder going on on the vintage? It was all bumpy. I don't remember that either on the... Could be another Mandela effect, because that doesn't make sense. Why would they... You know, sculpt that like that. Sorry, that's an ugly scar. I know. Smashed my hand against the door. Walking in with something like whoosh, scraped out my whole skin, you know. But yeah, look at that's a stoic head. These are gonna be rough to choose because I think they all look good. What does he have? Man, there's all kinds of different ties on these things. Like, what? Did you guys go to different factories for each one or what? But they look good, yo. They look good. Do, 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 do. Oh, he looks good. But I like that. The other head, though. The one where he's open, his open mouth head. Yeah, I see, like, dude, look how small he is. Are they downsizing them or what? Where are you, Panthro? Because Panthro, I thought Panthro was short. But you see how bulky he looks? And look at Captain Shiner next to Panther. Sorry, why they cute. Look at that. He's small. Like, I feel he should at least be Panther's height. So, I don't know, guys. I think some of you might be upset about just the height on, on this, on these, some of these. Like I said, I feel Luro should have been taller. But I don't know. There he goes. Hey, <laughs> he's Russian. I don't know what that dance is called, but you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Wow. So that was easy to pop off. So that is a good thing. Now, let's see if this pops on easily. Oh, dude. So that's good engineering, Super 7. I'm glad you, she knew what you were doing with that. Cause that went on nice. I thought this was gonna give me more trouble, but nope. You hear that pop on there? Well, that it popped on. So if you guys want to see that peg, it has like a ring on it, like a like a screw ring. But let me see. Okay, can I bend it without falling off? I don't think I just put it on right, but. Now what's up with this? Why is this connected? I don't think I like this either. This is connected, so you pop that off. Pop the head off. Oof. Okay, that goes back in there, and voila, voila. So there's no hole in the body for it, this, so you just tip it on. 
Yes. Um, so for him, I feel he should be taller. Uh, I feel this guy is way too short for my liking. I mean, I, I don't remember him even be side by side with Lionel. But I feel even Lionel sometimes feels short to me. But he he looks slimmer. Same thing with uh, Hachiman. And yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. I it just I have sort of mixed feelings right now. And maybe once I keep messing with them, I'll get used to it. But I feel like he's just too too short and I'm not talking about the rapper either no too short do 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 <laughs> yeah I'll mess with this in a bit this somehow has to be popped out so we can push it in So I have to mess with that. And I don't want to do it on camera because I'm already 36 minutes into this video. But, I mean, he looks cool. It looks like him. I think you guys were going to have mixed feelings on, on these figures. Sorry, guys. Because, yeah, I mean, I, I just feel like he should be taller. Uh, let's get Tiger in here. Tiger, where you at? Right here, Gerald. <laughs> See, even Tiger, he's like hunched over. I mean, you know, he is lanky. I know he is lanky. I don't feel it's coming across on camera. Again, I feel like he should just be like a tad taller. Um, yeah, I don't know. Because I'm, I'm using Grun as a standard right now. And I guess because he's wider. So I don't know if that's what's throwing me off. But look at that, guys. He's a shorty. Shorty with the 40. But... Yeah, I mean, you guys can let me know below. I think, like I said, it's a good wave. I'm not disappointed with it at all. Um, but again, you know, I'll put some more pictures on my slide inside show. You guys can see what's going on. I also got Snarf. We're going to put Snarf in there. You guys can see what's up. It's a mixed bag for me right now. Uh, like I said, I'm, I was hoping this guy would be bigger and wider. I mean, I saw Mongor. He looked humongous i just feel like these guys should be just slightly taller uh wiley kit i think she's a good size i thought she'd be a little thicker and just a slight bit taller but again she's not uh really quick on the snarf if you got it make sure you turn this around because when all of them are this is coming twisted around like you're supposed to twist this calf because you'll notice that bump right there. It's reversed. Like, you have to twist it. So, just a heads up. But he's good. Like, I like him. Can't wait for Snarfer and the rest of the crew. Uh, what did... Let's see. So, yeah, I mean, you take that as you will. Again, I'll put some pictures on my side and side show. And, you know, this was... I thought this would give me a hard time, but it didn't. But do they look good? Yeah, they look good. And yeah, I just, you know, same thing with Rotaro. I thought he was going to be a disappointment. I actually like the way he, he came out. He came out really, you know, wide and looking big. I mean, he looks big, but I, I feel somehow something happened with Hatchiman and Captain Shiner, at least for them. This one just probably a gripe, but I feel he should be taller and wider. Same thing with Captain Shiner. I thought he'd be, you know, a skinny, tall, lanky guy like um, Aluro. At least his height be his height. 
but alas it's not the it's not the case and yeah i mean let me see real quick you know if you have chitara you know that's the size that's the size of captain shiner so anyways again you guys if you like what you're seeing <laughs> like comment subscribe and share and again i'm out be blessed Lion-O son, come here, come here. Look how fast it's spin this. You can't even tell it's moving. That's great, Hachiman. Huh? Patrick could do the same thing with the basketball.